Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the Flying Bear Laser Man Laser Cutter. Friends, I got another fun project, so let's get cracking. All right, friends. So, of course, we're going to start by launching Lightburn. We need to import that project. Remember, we saved it in that 3D modeling folder. Here is the birdhouse file. Let's open it and see what we got. If you missed the project, it is a fun Tinkercad project. I will have a link to this in the description. Make sure when you check it out. If you think it's cool, give it a reaction. This tutorial will show you how to make your own in about 15 minutes. It is a simple step-by-step -step design with notches and tabs. It was designed to be used in classrooms, so it should be easy enough for absolute beginners. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is nudge these a little closer together. I'm going to use control nudge to get that so it's separated. Same thing for this one, control nudge. And I just want to use my material as wisely as possible because this is about as large as my cardboard comes. We've got more room on the laser, but I don't have more room on my cardboard. Notice here I'm going to group these two. If you drag from the right to the left, it grabs both. Of course, control G is group, and then we can nudge that over. And then I'm gonna just bring this one a couple clicks and a couple clicks. See if I can control nudge to move those up. And actually, let's align those. I can see that they are not aligned vertically. We want to align to the top. Now I can do my control nudge to move them up to their closest spot as well i think that's about as good as it's going to get let's check our cuts and layers i need to select all of the pieces switch to that number 10 setting instead of 200 i'm going to do 380 just because i want to make sure this cuts through i am going to do 100 percent power and i'm going to do one pass let's fire up the laser <laughs> I need to switch to the laser. Let's find the laser man. It was on COM8. It just did a tiny homing because it was already pretty close. Let's do shift nudge to move up one, shift nudge to move over one. Let's see if it works right here. Let's hit frame. You can see I have got a large piece of cardboard we have got it clipped in using my awesome clips. Let's quickly check the height. I have got that already lined up. Absolutely love that that is always located right there. Friends, it is time to grab some safety glasses and let's make something magical. Alrighty friends, so that was pretty darn efficient. Let's pull out our parts and let me show you how easy assembly is. Alright friends, so let's take them downstairs, find some glue, and let's put this little birdhouse together. Alright friends, so here is an added bonus of the laser man. It is so small and portable, I was able to pick it up and move it so we can assemble right here. So of course the first thing is to find the base, find your front, find your back, make sure you've got the sides that are printed on the insides. I am going to use tacky glue and then all we need to do is put a dab of tacky glue on these grooves right here. I'm going to make it so that it touches and right here so it's going to sit on and it's going to glue up against 
just like that. I'm going to go to a side next. Same thing, I'm going to take this side and glue the groove that sits down. I'm going to glue the part that goes inside and the part that sits down. Nudge this out of the way and bingo, that part is in place. You can see how sturdy this type of design is with these tabs. Once again, glue in the parts that stick down and the piece that's going to connect inside the tab. Leave my glue like that so it's ready to go faster. And bingo, next wall in place. Finally, let's finish it up. I'm going to glue down, touching down and this time I'm also going to glue the glue the parts that connect to the actual wall I'm going to back up and put some glue on these too once again since this is just tacky and it's such a fast build we can go back and get those in place bingo bango <laughs> friends that is how quickly you can assemble the birdhouse. For the roof, remember that one is a little bit longer. So this is the one that goes over top. So it's going to glue over the other one. In a classroom, of course, you'd want to give this time to dry. Right now, though, I am going to wrap it up by, of course, putting glue on these sides right here. I'm going to simply add glue to both chunks of this and this and then make sure you find the one that's four millimeters shorter and put glue on that ridge and then it'll line up right with the top ridge notice I'm going to twist it so I can see if I've got it centered and when I've got it the way I want then we can spin around and add the other part and it overlaps just like that and give it some time to dry of course after you dry it you have got an awesome laser cut tinkercad birdhouse how cool is that friends real quickly from my website don't forget this is where you can find all of my tinkercad lessons of course you can also click on the lasers tab and learn all about the different lasers that i use finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day